G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now, one of the uh, big common questions I get um, around Microsoft Teams and files in Teams is how do we bring in uh, document libraries or files from other locations into the team that we work? Um, now, the example I'm going to use here is uh, in a global organization, we might have a sales and marketing global team. We might then also have a regional based team. So in this example here, you can see on the screen, we've got a US sales team. This is where uh, I um, start my day, do my day-to-day -day work, collaborate with other uh, people as part of my team. But I may want to also then access documents from the global sales and marketing team from the team that I'm working on. So I don't have to switch context, jump into another team and then do that type of thing. So there's a way that we can add a tab and bring document libraries from other sites into uh, the team that we are working in. So let's have a look at how we go about doing that. So you can see here, I'm in Sales West. Now, one of the things we can do inside a channel is add a tab. And one of these tabs is a document library. So we can say, right, let's add a document library. And you can see here, we've got relevant sites and we've got, we can use a SharePoint and paste the SharePoint link here. So under relevant sites, you can see that I've already got this uh, sales and marketing team that's listed as a uh, relevant site. So I'm gonna choose that. I'm gonna click next. Now there's only one document library that's part of this sales uh, and marketing site. If there was multiple, which we'll have a look at in a minute, then I could choose uh, a different document library. But I'm going to choose documents. I'm going to click next. We can name this. So let's go sales and marketing and we'll click save. And that's going to add that document library into this channel, uh, the sales West channel of the US sales team. Okay, and it's gonna bring that document library in and I'm going to be able to access those documents from within this tab. Now I don't have the full functionality of a, a full-blown SharePoint document library, but I do have access to the files. Now the other thing that we can do here is add an additional tab. So let's add another document library. Now this time I'm going to use a SharePoint communication site. So it doesn't have to be a team site. So let's grab the link to that uh, communication site and I'm going to use a SharePoint link and I'm going to paste that in there and I'm gonna click go. Now from here, what we can do, because this site has got multiple different document libraries and we can see here, we can pick a document library that we want to show. So I'm going to say brand assets. So let's click next um, and let's go brand assets and let's save that. So that's now going to add this tab to uh, this Sales West channel. And this is a document library um, from a SharePoint communication site this time. So we've got brand assets pulling the documents in from that document library on a comm site. So that could be the intranet or something like that. And we've also got the sales and marketing document library here um, that is a uh, SharePoint site that is backing a Microsoft team. So it's a great way that you can bring all of your documents or documents that you need quick access to into Microsoft Teams so that you don't need to go to other locations. You can actually build this out yourself. Thanks for watching. See you next time.